Hello, hello! Welcome back to Whiskey With E. I'm Eric. Now today, craft beer review number 56, we have... We have... Corbin. Corbin Double IPA, coming out of Akasha Brewing, Akasha Project, you know. 375 mil can, coming out of 5 Dock Sydney. You know what? 8.5 percenter, 2.5 standard drinks. That is no additives, no preservatives. Keep cold, drink fresh. You know what? Let's have a little read at the back. From the heart of the hops, from the heart of the hop cosmos, comes the Corbin, a dazzling constellation of Simcoe, Sentinent, Sentinel, and Mosaic with a huge passion fruit shine, soaring tropical subtle sweetness and a fantastic bitter finish. It's as artfully composed as the music of the spheres. AkashaBrewing.com.au at Akasha Brew, made in Australia. Let's get right into it guys. Alrighty, got a glass. Alright, let's, let's do the... Alright, here we go. Let's see how it sounds guys. You know what guys, the sun's out now, but just before it was storming, there was lightning, you know, everything's wet. So I'm kind of happy that the sun's out, I get to enjoy a beer, so let's get right into it. Oh my goodness. Get all that goodness out. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! Alrighty, look at that, guys. That's like more, bigger than two finger head. Two and a half fingers. Alright. Slight, slight yellowy tinge, you know. It's a little bit of an off white head. Carbonation. Carbonation's not really too rushing. I mean, it's very moderate bubbles. Can you guys see that? It is hazy, obviously. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let's just get right into it. I'm excited. Alright, so on the nose, guys. <laughs> Woo! Alrighty, so. Tropical bomb. You're getting pineapple. You're getting mango. There's like a like an, an orange note here, like um mandarines or something. Like a blood orange kind of vibe. And now we're losing sunlight. But hopefully we'll be fine guys. Oh my goodness. You know what? It just smells awesome. You can get those hops. It's it's the hops. They must be using lots of different hops. I mean this is one of those micro brewery type breweries, guys. That's why, that's why I enjoy craft beer, guys. You know, when it's not mass produced, like the VBs and that, you can get so many different kind of flavors and, like, even on the nose right now, guys. This is this is tremendous. This is beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna get right into it. Cheers, guys. <sighs> that is just good. I mean, that orange note, that mango note, the pineapples, that comes through first. So it's sweet up front. And then it goes, rolls over to the bitter hoppiness. I mean, but it's well balanced. It's not like just overly bitter. There's some sweet there. There's bitter. I mean... I'm going for again for another one, guys. Cheers, everyone. What is that little fly buzzing around my face? Mm. It just won't fly away, eh? <laughs> All right. <coughs> you are getting hops. You're getting a um, like you're getting the hops, obviously, the tropical notes. 
But you are getting a multi vibe too. Really, I have to kill this thing, eh? It's not going to leave me alone. Get back! Oh my goodness. Right, back to it. So the malts. You are getting the malts as well. So you are getting that slight biscuity note in there. But what's dramatically standing out in this is the orange, the tropical notes. It's like... Yeah, there's like an orangey vibe about it. So... It even looks kind of orange. Oh my goodness, I am going to kill this thing. Sorry! You just wouldn't leave me alone. I'm sorry. Uh, goes against... We shouldn't do that, guys. But it was causing me grief. They don't have much of a long life anyway, right? Sorry! Anyways, guys, alright, so the head's coming down a bit. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness. It's good. It's complex beer. It's not watery. It's... It's thick. Oh. Carbonation, silky smooth bubbles. But it's just balanced. There's beautiful sweetness, those orange tropical notes, and then it rolls over to the bitter. It's beautiful. There you go. Anyway, guys, sorry about the lighting. Guess we just lost some light. But let me know in the comments if you have tried Corbin, uh, the Corbin Double IPA coming out of Akasha. Brewing, or Akasha Projects, I think they're Akasha Brewing, maybe this is just a project, <laughs> who knows, anyways, let me know in the comments if you tried this, or, or what's your favourite double IPA, I mean, this is not bad guys, now the price of this, actually, I have the receipt, so, sorry guys, this is a bit total unprofessional, alright, Corbin, oh my goodness, it's almost rubbed off. That's that's not helpful. It is twelve dollars. Alrighty, it's twelve dollars. How much is that one? Thirteen dollars for the next one. Alright, so twelve dollars. Twelve dollars at eight point five percent. I mean, sometimes. I mean, it's good to be paying a dollar a percent, obviously, but sometimes you can't get that. But, at least it delivered. I mean, it's not boring, it's tropical bomb, it's it's what a good double, you know, it, it's what a double IPA should be. You know, it's tropical, it's beautiful, there's orangey notes, there's pineapple, there's mango. <sighs> Loving it. Cheers, everyone. Like the bitterness, it's not overly bitter. It's bitter with the sweet, with the tropical notes. So, is this another one, or is it the same one? Didn't I kill it? Ah! Alright, guys. I better end the video because that thing buzzing around my face is really annoying me. <laughs> but... Cheers everyone, oi, from my expressions, my, how I sound, you guys should know that I'm enjoying this beer, guys. I have nothing else to say about it, but I guess I do recommend it. So if you see Corbin from Akasha Brewing, I say give it a try. I mean, if you like a double IPA, I mean, at least it's 8.5%. Could be worse. Alright guys, I'll catch you all next time. Cheers everyone. Good job Akasha. Bad fly. Alright guys, cheers everyone.